Hey, I'm Brian Vance, brought by TrackGear.com, and today we're going to break down the Alpine Stars GP Tech V2 leather jacket. At 995, the GP Tech V2 is the top tier leather jacket in the A Stars catalog. As the name would indicate, the GP Tech V2, this shares a lot with their GP Tech V2 one piece race suit, which has been a great seller for us. That's something I own personally. I really like that suit. My guy Jimmy Fox here has one too. We sold a ton, a lot of great feedback from the customers. This is Tech Air compatible. This will accept the Tech Air Race Best System. So what that means for the rider is you can take this from your Missile GP Pro GP Tech race suit, pull the vest out, you want to go and get into the A-Stars portal, and you want to switch from race mode to street mode. We're not going to show you that in this video, but it's really self-explanatory. You've got your vest. You've got it registered. Swapping modes is super simple. You swap it into street mode, install it in the jacket. We will show you in this video how to install it in the jacket, and you're ready to roll. So now that vest that you've invested in, right, which is the benchmark for motorcycle impact protection at this point, that vest can go from your race suit to your street jacket, right? A lot of versatility. You get more from your investment. Let's talk sizing real quickly. I'm 5 feet 11 inches tall, about 205 pounds, somewhat athletic build. I am wearing a size 56 euro right now in the GP Tech V2 jacket. We're going to show you this two different ways. Currently, I'm wearing it. I don't have the Tech Air vest in it. In this video, Caleb is going to show you a clear comparison of how the jacket fit me without the vest and with the vest. While it does impact the fit of the jacket, I wouldn't say that you need to go up a size if you intend to use the Tech Air Race vest system in this. This fits me well right now, and it has a tremendous amount of motion panels in it. You're going to see that. We're going to really highlight this in the second portion of this video. They integrate all these motion panels in this to allow for compatibility with that airbag vest system also to allow for deployment of the system if that happens to uh, result from an impact, okay? That pays benefits to the rider even if you're not going to use the vest because those motion panels simply allow this to just move with you like it's a second skin. It's also important to note, we're going to show you this in the second part of this video a little bit, some of these jackets come with foam inserts in the chest and back, some do not. There are CE certified upgrades that are available because remember that foam is just there as a spacer. It's just that that's all it's doing to help you maybe try it on. You don't really want to ride with that stuff in there because it isn't real protection. They have CE inserts available for the back, multiple levels available. You'll see that on the website and also CE chest inserts. Those are something you would use if you're not planning on running the Tech Air Race system. If you're planning on running the Tech Air Race system, if you've previously installed the inserts and you purchased the vest as an upgrade, just go ahead and pull those out. You will no longer need those. If you have a jacket that did come with foam pads in the chest and the back, you want to reach up inside the jacket. And we're going to show you how to do that in this video and just remove those because they will not be necessary when using the Tech Air system. Let's break down features and benefits of this jacket. Premium leather, screen printed logos, segmented perforation, Zippered hand warmer style storage pockets. You can see there's a kind of large pockets externally. Locking zips. Four-way stretch fabric. Kevlar protection here in a vulnerable area. There is your Tech Air LED indicator. CE certified armor is included in the elbow form. External elbow slider. CE shoulder armor. External shoulder slider. If you want CE protection for the back and chest, like I said earlier, those are upgrades that must be purchased separately. Internally in the jacket, there is a waterproof storage pocket on the left breast and a standard Velcro closure style pocket on the right. The race hump is ventilated to help encourage exchange of air and airflow to keep the rider cool and comfortable. You can see the extensive use 
of those stretch panels here in the back of the coat really make this thing move like a second skin. They do note that this would be uh, water bag compatible. I'm going to touch on that later in the video, so if that's something you're interested in. It, it could have been thought out just a little bit better. Honestly, that's a feature I don't think anybody really uses. The reason I say that is over the years, all the items we've offered that were compatible, we've sold literally hardly any bladders, which tells me nobody's using it. Here's another unique feature with this coat. You'll see the four-way stretch fabric is used here in the area of the jacket where you'd normally see volume adjustment for the waist. This jacket still has that. They just put it all internal to the coat so it hides it. It's a much cleaner look. Same style with the D-ring and the Velcro. We'll show you in the second portion of this video exactly what that looks like. If you want to turn this into a two-piece riding suit, this will be compatible with the leather Alpine Star pants, and it does include the full circumference jacket to pants zipper. If you want more details, stay tuned for the second part. I'm going to take this thing off, take it apart, and give you a closer look from the inside out. Okay, now an inside out look of the GP Tech V2 leather jacket. Armor that's included. This is the race level stuff you'd find in the GP Tech V2 race suit. Soft shell, shoulder, CE certified, super moldable, flexible, comfortable, low profile. Here's the stuff we find in the elbow and forearm. The race hump. This is, you know, some kind of a rigid foam. It is ventilated, right? It, it's formed. It sits in a pocket inside. I'm going to show you this a little bit closer here. It's really not about protection. This is about holding the shape of the race hump pocket. Something I, I don't want to beat them up too much, but you know they list as a feature that this would be compatible with, say, a water bag. You could probably get several different inserts that are roughly this size and put them in there for sure. And there is a pass through here for the hose. The only way you're going to get that in there is you're going to have to actually open the jacket up and come from the inside out. There's a zip down here. You'd open that up. This will get you access to the race hump, pull the Velcro up, slide the thing, push the hose through. You know, once you, you go beyond that, I don't see any additional connective points here for the straw, so that thing would be just kind of moving around. So, I would say not super compatible with a water bladder. All the time, I've been going to the racetrack several years now, and this probably translates to the street too. I just don't think that's a feature people really use. Seen it integrated over the years into a lot of different apparel, and nobody buys the flipping water bags, right? So it's on there as a line item, but I just want to point that stuff out for you. You see over here on the table, we've got my Tech Air Race Vest. This is the one that I use in my race suits. This is going to zip right into and integrate with the GP Tech V2. It's important to understand that you have to have your vest registered. You got to get on the Alpine Star portal because if you're going to street ride with this, you want to switch it from race to street mode. It operates using a different algorithm on the street and it's very important if you're going to use it there, you have that. I'm not going to show you how to do that in this video. It is very self-explanatory. Get this bad boy hooked up to your PC, rock and roll, get it done. I'll probably make Jimmy do that because Jimmy does the nerd stuff here. This is the real magic. I mean, this is that next level, best of the best protection. So if you're shopping for a jacket like this, you're willing to invest $1,000 in this. And the rest of it, it's, it's a premium jacket for sure. In my opinion, it's level best feature is the fact that it accepts that and you can take and use it in your race suit, pop, pop, take it out, put it in here plug it into your PC, flip it over to street mode, and off you go. And you've got the same type of protection that you'd have on the track, now on the street, in an area where, honestly, you probably need it even more. Let's give you a look here at the shell of the jacket. Backside here, leather, got some segmented perf, screen printed logos, a little color blocking here. There is perforation up here at the top of the race hump. The thing was ventilated. I showed you that's going to help with exchange of air. 3D mesh fabric back here for the collar. That's a hot spot, just allows for movement. When you have this coat on, there is a tremendous amount of mobility, just like there is that GP Tech V2 race suit. And how they get there is all this stretch paneling. This is meant to make it more ergonomic for the rider, right? When you're riding, because it has all these additional motion panels, and also manage 
an inflation of the airbag system. So you pick up comfort with having a Tech Air compatible garment. Leather stretch. This is abrasion resistant textile stretch here. In the back side, rolls over to the underarm area. Blends in with that four-way stretch they have here. Externally, I'm going to show you this real cool volume adjustment system here at the waist. But that is that four-way stretch fabric kind of rolled over. It's just a clean way to allow you to dial in the volume in that area. Focusing on the sleeve, we have a fixed elbow slider. Motion panel here in the elbow. Another motion panel here in leather in the shoulder area. Kevlar reinforcement, four-way stretch. That stuff is extremely breathable. Locking zipper. There is a little leather flap with Velcro to cover up the end of the zipper. You can see the lining that they have here, the comfort liner in the cuff of the jacket. It's going to keep it comfortable for you in this area. It actually felt quite nice. The liner in the coat is fixed as compared to the race suit, the GP2, uh, GP Tech race suit, where the liner is removable and the coat it is going to be fixed. Locking, zippered, hand warmer style storage pockets. I like to point out how big that pocket is too. You can see I've got pretty big hands. I wear a 2X glove and I'm only occupying three quarters of that pocket. So realistically with several of the different gloves that are on the market today, if you have enough feel to grab that zipper pull, you'd be able to get your hand in and out without taking your glove off. Integrated shoulder slider here. This works in conjunction with the shoulder armor and of course the airbag to give you class leading protection in that area. Front of the coat, segmented perf, A-Star logo screen printed, split by the zip, got a little four-way stretch fabric up here, padded collar, get inside the coat, fixed mesh liner, full circumference zip to pants attachment. You'll see here in the waist, this is really cool because this is an internal volume adjustment system. So instead of having that on the outside of the coat, causing the bunching, you see it all, it's external, it's all hidden away inside, just gives you a much cleaner look. It was very effective. I did use it with this coat. Spacer fabric is used back here. This is a nice touch in the liner. Realistically, if you're going to use the airbag, that is going to be eliminated. If you're going to install one of the CE certified back protector inserts in the pocket inside this coat. Because remember, this coat will take the armor upgrades in the chest as well as in the back compartment. You will preserve the functionality of this. What this does maintains a pocket of air between your back, the shell of the coat, just works to keep you cooler and more comfortable. Internal storage, we have a waterproof storage pocket here at the left breast. The yellow zipper that you see right here, that is intended for airbag installation, which we are going to show you within this video as well. Another storage pocket over here on the right side. This has a Velcro closure. For a race level jacket, there is a lot of storage built into this. If you want to use one of the Alpine Star back protectors that uses the snap integration here at the top, they do include this. You know, it, it's a nice feature. Myself, I've never really dug it. So I end up with this stuff. I just take it off and then I'm going with the airbag. That's what I would run with. But if I was going to use this coat without the airbag, I would definitely put the insert and the chest protectors in it and just simply remove this. To install the back protector insert, you're going to zip open this pocket here. And the pocket for the back protector is literally right up in here. It's hard to show you, but you slide your hand in there. You're going to feel it. It's right there. For the chest inserts, you're going to come in through the same pocket and you'll find both of the mesh with Velcro pockets. One on the uh, left breast, one on the right breast. Really easy to access, very difficult to show you here on camera today, but I promise you go up through that hole, you're going to find them. No worries. Okay, now I'm going to show you what it takes to install your Tech Air Race vest into your GP Tech V2 leather jacket. First thing you want to do is get back here to the collar area of the jacket. I want you to pull on the liner here. Release the Velcro. You then need to take this Velcro panel and expose it like so. Hold it over and then put the liner back into place up here in the collar area. Allowing this to drape over. I want to make sure too that I'm not creating any interference here. That looks pretty good. This snap attachment, if you still have that in there, 
Take that off, we'll put it to the side. For now, we're not going to use that. I now want you to take and feel here in the back compartment and in the chest compartment. If you feel the foam inserts that are coming in only some of the GP Tech V2 leather jackets, it's a good idea to simply remove those now. The only way you'd want to leave those in there is if there is a tremendous amount of additional space in the coat, which would then indicate the coat's probably too big for you anyways, because this is going to take up some volume when you put it in here, okay? There's stretch panels to help deal with that and allow the coat to still move on you. Still, you don't want to leave unnecessary things in the jacket. Armor inserts, if you've paid for or installed armor upgrades in the back of the chest, and you're going to run this, I would not recommend using those with this. Once again, it's redundant protection. This has CE back protection built into it. Additionally, everywhere you see vest, you have airbag. So there's a ton of protection here. You've got the chest, shoulders, back, the whole deal. There's really no need for those inserts. To install this, you want to get your bag ready, slide it into position, plug in your connector. Yours may look a little bit different. Some of the later versions, mine is one of the earliest ones, are going to have a pigtail that comes down the bottom here. That's going to be really clear. You're going to see that, okay? So go ahead and plug that in, like so. You don't really need to turn it on at this time. The switch is right here because you can slide your arm up in there to reach that and toggle it on and off as necessary. From here, grab the sleeve of the coat. You want to get the liner of the jacket and you want to pull it out of the sleeve like so and find that rectangular shaped Velcro patch right there. You're going to line that up Try to be as accurate as you can so that the two halves are directly on top of each other. You're just going to get a better fit that way. So you want to take your time here and make that as nice as you can. Go ahead and slide the sleeve in a little bit. You now have a circular puck up here at the top. Go ahead and kind of push your hand down in that sleeve like so. Find the circular puck on the liner of the coat, line it up with the one that is on the airbag vest. Once again, you want to be as accurate as possible. Fix that into position. Now we come back here to the neck area. There is a Velcro patch back here, rectangular in shape. You can see this one's a little bit larger. You want to try and get it located in the center. And this will give you the ability to raise and lower that a little bit dependent upon fit. So you, there is some fine tuning available back here. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to try and get it right in the center. Okay, just right in the middle. Now we need to do the other sleeve. We'll use the same technique that we did on the first one. Go ahead and pull the liner out of the sleeve locate that rectangular panel and I apologize if it's it's hard to show a lot of this but it'll be really self-explanatory when you have the jacket and the airbag in your hands. I'm going to line those up as accurately as possible. Make sure it's all sealed up. Take that sleeve, kind of work it down a bit into the coat. Now we'll find the circular one here, line it up with the vest, into position, go ahead and kind of tuck your sleeve down in. Now on either side we have zippers. These are color coded yellow, you cannot miss this. Zip that down. We'll do the same thing on the other side. And there you have it. This airbag is fully installed in this coat. It really doesn't take very long. To access it for charging or for turning it on and off, simply lift up. It's all right there. Okay, so there's really no reason to need to turn that on when you slide it in. Very simple stuff. Of course, when you zip up, you're going to make sure that you have this flap aligned properly. You can see that my airbag is on because I just turned 
the LED lights on, so my switch was on. There you have it. That's how you install the Tech Air Race Best in the GP Tech V2 leather jacket. All in all, what do I think of the jacket? Well, I have the GP Tech V2 suit, and I really like that. When I put this coat on, I got a sense of literally wearing the top half of that suit, right? So I feel that this is excellent mobility, excellent protection. You pair it with the airbag, you're literally riding around in what I would deem best of the best, and then you have that flexibility to, let's say that you do have a crash, God forbid, and you damage the jacket. Your airbag can be serviced by Alpine Stars. They have a proven track record now. It's been in the market here in the U.S. for over a year. They've serviced them quickly, accurately, done a great job with it. So with a package like this, you damage the coat, you can either have the coat repaired or purchase a new coat, but you're able to preserve your airbag vest, which is a big investment itself. That's $1,150, okay? It's a big component of this. You're able to take that and transfer it to the next jacket or continue using it in your race suit. So a lot of flexibility, in my opinion, that is just simply the best design currently available on the market. So if you can't tell, I like the coat. I love the airbag. If this is in your budget and you like the look, or if you have that suit and you want something for street riding that gives you a very similar level of protection without wearing a full suit on the street, I think this is a great buy. I'm Brian Van, SportbikeTrackier.com.